Hey Virgos, thank you for coming to my channel. Um, my name is Indigo and I am here to do your channel messages for the last week of April. Um, so it'll be the 23rd through the 30th. You guys had the most likes and most watches uh, on my last video, so you guys are first. <clears throat> this first message is for those Virgos who are running running from a relationship. If you're in like a soulmate twin flame connection and you are running. Spirit is saying, this is for the group of you who had somebody in their life when you met this person. Um, you could have been married or you are in a long-term committed relationship. This person just walked into your life out of nowhere and totally captivated you. This person stole your heart. You, you seen everything in them, everything you were you were looking right back at. They made you feel like you were truly, truly happy. And that's when you ran. You ran out of fear. Fear of not having enough, fear of not being enough. And you felt lack, like you weren't good enough for this person. Spirit is saying, okay, Spirit is saying that you need to get out of this negative thinking. You are, you're stuck in this negative thought pattern because of the hurt that you endured before this person came into your life when you were with that other person or the person you're currently in, with right now. Um, Spirit is also saying you need to use your inner compass. You are not listening. You're not listening to your intuition. You're not listening to your guides. You're not listening to your angels. You're having dreams and you're ignoring them. You are seeing signs everywhere and you are still sitting where you're sitting and that's not where you're meant to be sitting. You want it all, but everybody does, but it's not going to be handed to you. You need to move, move your butt. <laughs> You're not able to move on because you still have open wounds. You're refusing to heal because it hurts too bad. You're, have, you're experiencing blocks and confusion around the situation. For a group of you, you are like very high up in your company like you're a leader, like people look to you um, either for like your um, opinion or you have people that work under you. And this is all part of why you ran. You were worried about what was gonna come to light. You were worried about people and what they think and what they thought. And because you were in a relationship and then you up and left that relationship to be with this other person. Spirit saying, don't, don't get stuck in life because of what other people think about you. Everybody's always gonna have an opinion. I see you in the next three to four weeks making a huge decision. You're going to finally choose who, what, when, where. You're starting to see things clearly. You're letting things 
come to the surface and you're letting go of confusion. Because you're starting to see that you're, yeah, you're clearly seeing that things are not working out with the person you're with. Because for this group of you, you um, had left your spouse or your long-term partner to be with this other person who just showed up in your life and knocked your socks off. And then you got scared and you ran back to your spouse or your partner. And you had to go back. You had to go back because you felt like you had to try one more time. You had to make sure that you could tell yourself, I did everything I could. You guys have tried counseling. Um, for a group of you, you went back because you felt pressured by your family and friends because you are letting them tell you what to do, how to feel, what to say, what, where to work, who to be married to. But yet there's arguments in the house. There's, for a group of you, I see breakups this month um, coming into the first week or two of May. Some of you, though, are still hanging on. You're still stuck. A lot of it's to do with financial reasons, but you're still stuck. You're dealing with somebody who's self-centered, um, selfish, greedy. Um, they're only in the relationship because it financially benefits them. And you're only in the relationship because you're financially scared. You know, can I afford child support? Can I afford alimony? Can I afford a place on my own? And all these bills. And, and they're only with you because you're a second income. Oops. Some of you are not making a decision to leave where you're currently at because a lack of confidence, a lack of self-worth. You feel like you can't make it on your own. You feel like you're not enough. You feel like even if you did leave this partner, your soulmate wouldn't want you back. For some of you, you're starting a new cycle. You're starting something good. I see you happy. You're starting to heal. And you're leaving from somebody that is no longer compatible with you. Spirit's saying it's okay to drop some of the responsibility. You feel like you it's all on your shoulders, but it's not. Their happiness is not your responsibility. And you guys can share the responsibility if there's children involved. It's okay to drop some of it. You're putting too much on your shoulders. Spirit's saying also to, to not be so busy. You're missing the important things in life because you are diving into work. You're doing too much to try to do whatever you can to not heal because it hurts. Something new is coming towards you guys that's going to help you getting get over being stuck. And that's in this next week. And you've been stuck for a long time. You're really disconnected in this relationship you're currently in. But you're just trying to avoid conflict. And it's causing you to stall. Um, you don't want to hurt anybody or you don't want things coming out about you. You don't want, you just don't want the conflict. You're waiting for the right moment. You're gathering your resources resources. So when you're ready to go, you can go. For a group of you, you're feeling like you're not appreciated. Your home is cold. There's nobody talking. There's backs to each other. There's when there is talking, you guys are 
harsh to each other. Cold. I just keep hearing cold. For a group of you, you're planning for the future and your partner doesn't even know it. You're, you're feeling stuck, but you know you're not going to be there forever. And you're headed towards wish fulfillment. You're planning a future with that other person, that person you ran from. You are going to allow something to come to light. Not really allow it because it's coming anyways but you're not going to try to hide it. And you are going to have a huge weight lifted off your shoulders. Like I can literally feel it. You're going to feel such relief after telling them about this other person. It's going to come from somebody else first, but when they confront you about it, you're not going to deny it. You're going to come out with the truth. Um, you're no longer feel, fearing judgment from this person or others or legal battles in court um, because you know you're heading towards something way more success, uh, fulfilling, whether that's going back to that person that you ran from or being single. Some of you, I do see being single first and working on healing and um and for a group of you I see you going back to your soulmate you're kind of diving into the unknown this situation scares you the somebody has been chasing you and you've been avoiding this confrontation this meeting because you don't know how to answer the questions that you know they're going to have. And you just don't want to think about it. It hurts. It hurts too bad. You miss this person. You ache for this person. You want this person so bad, but you don't know how to get there. Spirit's saying it's time to heal. It's time to go within. It's time to listen to your compass because it's trying to point you in the direction. And listen to your inner voice because they're trying to tell you. For a group of you, you're going to decide to take a chance with this person. And you are going to come into an abundance that I don't even have words for. You realize you still have feelings for this person. For a group of you, you realize you had feelings for this person still and you're ready to heal and you want this person. And this person got tired of waiting for you and has moved on. They still hold you very dear in their heart. They still love you, but they feel like they've been butchered by you in the past. They felt devastated, heartbroken, destroyed shattered, abandoned, used, neglected. And most of all, they don't get how you could just walk away and not answer them. How you could just walk away without saying a word. They don't know if they want to come back to this relationship, Virgo. It's time to release whoever or whatever is standing in your path to this person. If you want this person, Spirit is saying you have to release. You have to release them physically, emotionally, mentally, and then allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself Allow yourself to be hurt again because that's what it's going to take to prove to this person that you are for real this time. Because the person you're thinking about is waiting. Some of them are waiting while with other people. 
And they're not just going to drop those other people just to be dropped by you again in the future. The first or second week of May, Virgo, you're going to have spiritual enlightenment. You're going to have enlightenment about this person. And spirit is going to show you what is stopping you from your brand new start. Because this energy, it just took my breath away for a second. This energy like rushed into your life. It stunned you. You became enchanted by their energy. You wanted engulfed by them. And you never wanted to let go. But yet you're fighting a new beginning with them out of fear. Fear is stealing your future. Fear is stealing your happiness. So let go of that fear. It's blocking your growth. Someone loving and caring and sweet and trustworthy and your other half of your soul. They're waiting for you. And when you go to them, you're going to find emotional stability and financial stability. But I do see partnership coming slowly. In the next four to five weeks, I know this is a weekly, but you're realizing all this this week. And in the next four to five weeks, I see you starting to slowly move. But you need to allow yourself to go within. You need to allow yourself to reevaluate the situation. Because you feel not appreciated. You feel the coldness in the room. And you know that there is something more out there. So I do see you guys realizing that this week. For those of you in the runner chaser relationship. For another group of you, you have finances that are finally coming together. You have been facing financial struggles and those struggles are coming to an end. Um, Virgos for a group of you. You need to open up communication, um, whether this be with friends, family, your uh, lover. Um, you're holding back. And it, this could be something that stemmed from a long time ago. Um, but you're holding back saying something and it really needs to be said to, so you can close that wound. It's something from your past. You need to allow that communication to come out because it's blocking you in other areas of your life. For a group of you, you have like a creative, like creative ventures are coming out and this is going to get you what you desire. Um, I see some of you writing, like being an author, um, doing artwork, uh, just lots, lots of creation, lots of creative inventions. Yeah. You guys are opening up to to your creative mind. For a group of you, you may be getting pregnant. I see lots of people, Virgos, pregnant this month. Um, so congratulations. If you don't want pregnant, use protection because there's a lot of you getting pregnant this month or this, yeah, within the next two weeks. Um, 
for a group of you, you're trying to move forward, but yet you're letting something hold you back. There's something you feel that isn't finished yet, not finished in this, um, like you need to complete something before you can, in your um, own peace of mind, move forward guilt-free. You are going to be doing that this week. For another group of you, someone is coming in to make you an offer. This is an offer of love. And it's going to give you a new um, look of optimism. You're going to have a new look on life. A new, I don't know, a new uh, fire in your heart. This is a very genuine soul, very sweet, the best of intentions um, for a group of you. And it's Aquarius for another group of you. It's a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you'll have to make a choice of whether to give this person a chance or not. Spirit is saying, go for it. They are a beautiful soul, genuine, pure, um, they just want what's best for you and they want to make you happy. They will bring you security too. You'll have a peace of mind. You won't, I see you not worrying about, is this person going to hurt me? Is this person going to cheat on me? Is this person going to use me? That, that's not even there. It's going to bring you, yeah, it's going to bring you emotional security as well as financial um, for a group of you, spirit is saying you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand up for what you want. Um, this is with a Leo or a Taurus. Uh, let them know that you can no longer do this. I feel you. Spirit saying they hear your prayers. And the spiritual realm hears your prayers. What you're saying to them is what you need to be saying to your partner. Um, that you can no longer do this. Uh, yeah, you just need to stand up for yourself, Spirit is saying. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you want. Stand up for who you want. Um, and I see you guys doing that this week. For a group of you, you're going to get a message from an air sign this week. It's going to upset you. You're upset. It could be an ex. Just don't let this person get in your head. It's somebody of the opposite sex. If you're a male, it's a female. If you're a female, it's a male. Um, that's why I'm saying it could be an ex. For same-sex couples, it's not an ex because it's a man and a woman. Um, but it's somebody that you've known for a long time. Don't let them get in your head. This week, Spirit's going to bring you guys uh, an aha moment for a group of you. In this moment, you're going to realize what direction you have to move. For a group of you, it's in a relationship. and Or if you're single, it's going to um, push you in the direction of who you're meant to be with. Um, it's going to give you direction and you're going to move forward to the right person. For another group of you, it's a job. And you are going to realize, you know what, I, I just can't do it here anymore. Um, and it's going to push you in the direction of a new job. Yeah. Some of you are dealing with a cancer or an Aquarius. Be careful of this. These people, uh, they are trying to play with your head, playing, playing mind games to try to get you to stay. I'm not sure if this is in love or work. Oh, this is with family. Your family is butting in, in your relationship. You're wanting to leave and your family's trying to play mind tricks on you to get you to stay with that spouse. Don't listen to them. Follow your own heart because when you follow your heart, you can't lose. I see you this week standing up to your family, Virgos. If not this week, I see in the next three to four weeks, you're going to face your fear. You're going to... Oh. 
Yeah, you're going to stand up to people about how you feel. You're going to stand up to them and tell them who you want to be with. Yeah. I see it's family, like a mom, a sister, an aunt. Yeah. You're coming out with the truth. To not only your partner, but your family about this. They're going to be mad. But you knew that, and that's why you've been holding off for so long. Spirit wants me to tell you, and it's important, if you are a guy and your partner is trying to threaten the kids, the court is going to see you're a good dad and you're going to have equal rights. So don't let that fear stop you because they're going to be able to see through the bullshit, the court systems. Um, before you, for a group of you, you made a head over heart decision. Spirit saying it's time to follow your heart because when you made your head over heart decision, it brought you no happiness, no joy, no love. So it's time to try following your heart. But either way, a choice needs to be made. I see this next week for this group review, you're going to get enlightened to this choice. Um, and you're going to start planning for the future. I don't see you guys making any um, forward movement, though, in, for three to four weeks. For a group of you who are dealing with uh, chest issues, um, something with your breathing. Spirit is saying to try sleeping like in a recliner or with your back up, like, you know, like elevated. For another group of you, you are having um, like gallbladder issues, uh, like bowels, bladder, gallbladder, all that. Yeah, that's your soul. Yeah, spirit saying that that's because you're up in your head too much. Clear your thoughts, clear your mind, meditate. Um, ask the angels to clear the negative thinking, clear the negative thoughts, take them away, and they will. You need to get out of your head. You're in. You keep everything bottled in, and it's affecting your health. Um, stress can affect your health, and it it is. So. Breathe and let it out because um, that's why your digestion is so horrible. It's because of stress from all this. So release that negative thinking and not, not get stuck in there so much. For a group of you who are looking for, a group of you had been laid off in the last three months, you're finding work this week. You're getting calls in from um, jobs that you were hoping for, and um, you're getting them. For a group of you, you have just recently lost your home. It's going to be okay. You're going to be able to move forward. You're going to find a place um, in the next couple weeks. I don't see it this next week, unfortunately. But um, for this group of you, I see you like living with family or friends. Um, it's only going to be a couple more weeks. Something's going to come up that you're going to be able to get. Uh, it's going to pretty much land in your lap, but continue to keep looking <clears throat> because it's not literally going to land in your lap, but it's going to feel like that. Um, 
for some of you, I don't know why, but Spirit is saying you need to rearrange your living room. I'm not quite getting why. That one's a weird one. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> Take it or leave that one, I guess. I'm thinking about you need to rearrange your living room. Yeah, I'm, I can't get any more on that one. For a group of you, I see you getting a new car this week. Whoop, whoop. Uh, for some of you or a group of you, probably a very small group of you, your children or your child has rashes on their body and you can't figure out what it is. Spirit is saying to change your laundry soap. They're allergic to the dye in the laundry soap. If you use, um, all like a L L switch, sw switch. It's causing your kid to break out because of the dye in it. Either go to All Free. I think that's, I hope that's a brand. Um, or any laundry soap that's uh, free of dye or fragrances. Um, there's something in the dye or the perfume that they're allergic to. You've, um, you've been trying to figure it out because it only happens once in a while. But yeah, there's something something in that in the all, I hope that's a brand or I'm going to sound really stupid, but, um, yeah, I think that, yeah, that's what it is for another group. You have money coming in. You're going to get relief. You're going to get, somebody's coming in and they're going to help you. Um, could be a mother or like a mother figure. She's going to really go to bat for you. She's going to help you financially. Um, she's going to help you gather resources. She's going to help you find a job. She's going to get you to interviews. Um, and not only that, she's going to financially help you. This is a person that cares about you a lot. Um, for a group of you, you're lacking self-confidence. You're feeling like you're not enough. You're lacking self-worth. Sometimes just getting up and going outside makes a big difference. Um, because when you just sit in your room all day, you get stuck in your thoughts. So you're saying get out, get out and like try a new hobby, exercise outside, um, go for a walk, uh, join different groups, you know, um, go to the YMCA, just get out of your house. Um, because your negative thinking is overtaking your logical thinking and that could be dangerous over time. So, um, just get up and move or no matter what you're doing, just move outside, you know, anything. For a group of you, you have an ex coming back this week. You're going to tell them, no, thank you. I'm happy being single. And Spirit's saying that is the right decision. If that's how you feel, that's definitely the right decision. For another group of you, you're going to be making big choices this week. So I think that's all I got for you guys. I'm trying to see if there's any more. We're saying release, release whatever is no longer serving you. Release your fear and embrace. I keep seeing the number six. And when I see the number six, it means um, to me to release your fear and embrace trust and balance between the spiritual and the material. So um, spirit is wanting you to, to 
to find balance to heal. There is a big need for healing and you're avoiding it because it hurts, but that's it's meant to. But you got to close those wounds out or you're never going to be able to move forward. So that's my main message um, this week. You guys have a lot of move. Yeah, you guys have a lot going on this last week of April. You really do. Um, you're making it big strides. For some of you, you're still stuck. And I don't see you being unstuck for a couple weeks to a month to six weeks. But for another group of you, you are moving forward this week, literally moving forward. Um, so hallelujah for that. For the rest of you, um, you'll get there. Just quit avoiding it. Quit avoiding the hurt. You have to dig through that pain to, to find healing, to find balance, and to find true happiness again. So I hope you guys have a beautiful end of April. I will see you at the beginning of May. And may God bless you guys on your journey.